All right, Coach Mincy, Carson Newman opens the year with a home win for a 12th straight year. Program win, number 800. But the big story, Kayla Marisites, huge game for her. 27 points, program record, 22 rebounds, nine assists. Uh, maybe the best game of her career in terms of everything she was able to do, and that says something for her. Yeah. Uh, what do you see from your senior? Um, I mean, she's just a winner. She's a champion. You know, she plays it. She gives me everything she's got, uh, game in and game out. And, uh, you know, it really matters to her. I think that's the thing is, is the game matters. Whether we win or lose, it matters to us. And, and how she performs matters. And, mm -hmm. and to see a kid go for 27 and, what, 22, mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's phenomenal. And I think, if I'm not correct, that's the first 2020 in the mm -hmm. history of the program. So this is a really good program. There's been a lot of good players, a lot of good teams. And for that to never have been done and for her to be the, ten the person to do it, uh, really proud of her, and, and uh, she's just relentless. And, uh, you know, and not all her rebounds are coming because she's tall and she's getting defensive rebounds. She had eight offensive rebounds, and mm -hmm. that takes work to be able to go and get those things on top, off the offensive glass. Well, it wasn't a one-man show. Harley Smith was near a double-double. Brandon Weichel was near a double-double. Abby Wilson came off the bench with 13 points. Kelsey Marisites finally broke through here today with a double-figure scoring effort. How do you assess your team's effort as a whole? Well, obviously, the first quarter was – we played about as good as we can play. I mean, uh, we shot really efficient, especially out of Harley and Braylon and, uh, and Kayla. Uh, second quarter and third quarter, King mm -hmm. outscored us, you know, and we were just a little bit out of sorts, played different lineups. Um, and credit King, you know, King, you know, we, we played about as good as we could in the first quarter. They came out in second quarter, second and third quarter and beat us. Uh, we just got a little lulls where we didn't put the ball in the basket as well as we did, obviously, in the uh, first quarter. And then we came back out in the third quarter and, and finally put up another big number. Uh, which was good to see because there were some people that that needed to score. Kelsey was one of them. You know, she was 0 of 5 coming in the game. Mm -hmm. She goes 5 of 8. So it's good to get her back on track. Uh, and, and Abby was one of them that hadn't necessarily hit some shots. And, and to see her do that was good. So um, any anytime you can add all those people and you can have a multitude of people mm -hmm. scoring, I just think it makes it harder for you to be scouted. Obviously, if you're putting 111 on the board, it can't be one or two guys. It's got to be a collection mm -hmm. of, of players. And we played a lot of people tonight, a lot of people in double-figure minutes. Um a lot of lot of threes went down, and that just shows you that uh, uh, even our post players are stepping out and making threes, and 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 that makes you happy as a coach. Thirty one assists on forty four made field goals. Uh, that's got to be something that you have to be proud of. What's that say about your group? That not only are you able to get some shots individually and off of turnovers, but you can really share the ball. Well, we're not a team. I mean, we we've got a few that can go isolation and you mm -hmm. know try to go and, and score. But uh, I think when you can move the ball and catch it and mm -hmm. not have to go off a of bounce all the time, that's where your best shots are going to come from. And uh, when you're making shots, you, you should have a lot of assist. And the night was no, you know, you know, we had 31, I believe, and then but we had 17 turnovers. Mm -hmm. That's a great assist to turnover ratio. But uh, you know, the thing was our turnovers were kind of high. I, I believe uh, we struggled a little bit. We got stagnant against their press and just weren't really cutting and moving like we should. And, and so that gives us something that we know we need to work on before we go back, go back up there and play on Saturday.